time is it? Y'all know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. Where is it at? Right here or there? One of the places. But you see, and hit the little bell while you're at it. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-L-I Amanda, same on Twitter. And it's time to get this movie review started. y'all i attended the premiere the red carpet premiere of frozen 2 last week it was actually a week from today and we got to see the movie early with everybody else in the stars and everything number one let me tell you the music after ever i mean it's hard to reproduce the classics of the first one that it's hard to reproduce that kind of magic that they had with let it go do you want to build a snowman all those but every time they had a musical piece in frozen 2 the audience went wild after it wild i'm telling you every song that they sung the audience erupted in cheers the music you're gonna love we have the original cast back we have kristen bell as the voice of anna we have uh adina menzel and we have Adina Menzel. I always get her name wrong as the voice of Anna. And of course, we have Josh Gad as the voice of Olaf. Some newcomers we have. We have uh, Sterling K. Brown plays one of the new characters in this. Which, I mean, you hear Sterling's voice and you just Im immediately like, that's Sterling K. Brown. He has that kind of voice that is so recognizable, but also great for a, a movie like this. Because he totally brings a little something extra into now, it. Now, I was skeptical about Frozen 2. I'm like, Frozen, the classic, it's such a classic. How are you going to pre-produce it? I already said with the music, how can you recreate that kind of magic? But also the story, how can you recreate that kind of magic? I enjoyed it. I'm going to say still the first one is the winner for me. But there was things about this one that I loved even more than the first one. Like the comedy in it. Oh, this one is funnier than ever. Olaf of course, brings it, brings it with the jokes, brings it with the lovableness that you just want to grab them and cuddle them. And he brings it with the jokes. He had me cracking up, crack it up. I was a little lost in the plot. I'm going to admit the plot had me a little lost. I'm like, what's going on? It was a little hard to follow. Um, but it's still towards the, at the, by the end, you're, you're into it. You're into the story. You're rooting for the characters. Uh, it was enjoyable and uh, it was one of those that's gonna, the kids are gonna love. They already love Elsa. They already love Anna. This Halloween, how many Elsas did I see at my door? How many Annas? Your kids are gonna wanna go see it and you're gonna enjoy it with them. It's not gonna be one of those that are like, all right, I'm gonna bring the kids and you don't enjoy it. You will enjoy it. So overall, I said, I didn't like this one as much as the first. The first was always be one true to my heart, a classic, hard to replicate that kind of magic. But I did love this one. It was cute. It was so, I like a good comedy. This one brought the comedy in it. The music it was enjoyable. You're going to love it. And some of these songs are going to be as catchy. They're going to stick into your head. I gave this one an 8 out of 10. Uh, Frozen 2 is back. It brings all the magic of Frozen back. And it's one that you're going to want to see next week. Market. It's going to be over. It's going to be the big holiday Thanksgiving movie that uh, you're going to want to see because the end. You're, it ends with a bang and you're going to want to stay for after the credits. Just telling you now, you're going to want to stay for after the credits. All right. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're excited about. And until next time, y'all.